I think part of what Anashiwaju Tinubu will avoid is that it will be better to get it over with rather than have people, you know, milling about yeah. and cause a commotion. Yes, because that, that would have happened if it decided to sit in the crowd yeah. like this. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so you can some, argue some that it too. took, it took um, a, a better decision to yeah. say, you let's know, just say, you know, let's, 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 let's move on. Immediately they left, let's order was on. restored to, to the poly unit, yeah. You know, mm. so there's, there's a sense of organization where uh, uh, Mr. Peter Obi is voting. Even the elderly man with a walking stick, see, moving from seat to seat. And, and, and what this shows to me is that the, the mere fact that almost in few seconds they are moving from seat to seat means that okay, yeah, that's the, yes, that, yes, that yes, the yes, process yes, is, is, yes, is fast and yes, yes, smooth. Yes, yes, you yes, know. Yeah, that's a clear indication, yeah. That, that's fine. And, and we still have a diet in Abuja, and, and we also have, would like to have your thoughts on, on what we are seeing, you know, from here, Dr. Goodluck. Jonathan in Bielsa in Utuke is casting his ballot already, and then uh, Mr. Peter will be together with his wife waiting, you know, to, to, for their turn before they go. No privileges, no special, special considerations. Idayat, what are your thoughts? I think it's welcome. It's again telling us that our leaders are beginning to show humility mm. and gradually people are stopping to take Nigerians really for granted. Uh, in other climes, I know that they will not accord special privileges to any presidential candidate to actually vote. They are citizens like us. But maybe because we are respectful, uh, we do that. But today we are seeing that the contest is actually changing people are beginning to finally see that the voters are actually the king maker in the elections. And I, I, I love that. And, and we need to actually see more of it. And while the last uh, panelist was talking, he raised very important issues. I think some of the things to add in these elections is that finally it is an open race because the Buari 12 million votes that has, he has consistently gotten uh, from 6 million up to his 12 million since uh, 2003 when he started uh, vying in a presidential race is now up for grab with no certain person inheriting it. That vote belonged to him as Buari. He had it like 3 million. Former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I was just told by my colleague that you're also former vice president. So you, well, you just performed your civic duty here at uh, Otweke, Ward 13, Unit 39. There was a bit of delay. What are your observations about this process? Uh, first, let me thank all of you that are involved in the electoral process, uh, the election, the, uh, the INEC staff, the media people, the security and the government for where we have reached. Uh, so, sometimes things look so easy, but practically it seems a bit difficult. But I'm happy that at least I have voted. I was a bit worried when I got here by 8.30 and there was nobody. But this is almost to 12, but at least I have voted. That means that the election has commenced in this, uh, uh, at least in this unit, maybe some parts of the world, and the materials are yet to get there. But we have tried, we have started the elections. My wish for Nigeria is for us to conduct a peaceful election. And for us who are politicians, our conduct matters a lot. And I always tell politicians that, look, yes, you can win election through unorthodox means, just like using violence to win elections or buying votes and so on. But when you do that, you are behaving like an armed robber or a con man. Armed robber makes money through robbery, but everybody knows that it's a con man makes money through deceiving people. But everybody knows it's a con man. They are not decent members of society. Politicians are supposed to be decent members of society. So we must conduct our affairs very credibly that both our supporters, our relatives, and so on should know that politics is a clean business and allow people to vote who they want at any level of election. My plea is we, the politicians, the security people, the INEC operatives should do the best for the country. The whole world is looking at us. So many senior global citizens are in Nigeria because of these elections. They want us to succeed and we must not fail. Yeah. 
Yes, uh, the beaver is improvement on the carrier. And I believe it will be better than the carrier. I don't think we are moving backward. We may still have some issues. It's technology. Even your, your phone, you have problems with your phone. Even if you buy one of the best smartphones, sometimes you still have problems. So I'm not expecting that your country, that the beaver machines will work perfectly. But it's a significant improvement. And at least uh, there is an attempt to improve on the methodology. The only thing I request from my neck is that in terms of distributing materials, this should improve on that. Because it appears they are using the same method to distribute materials. A place like Bayelsa State, when we have only 105 wards, in fact, by 8.30, it's really before 8.30, uh, I've been observing elections in other countries. In most cases, everybody will be ready 30 minutes before the voting time. Everybody will be ready, including the voters who vote. Everybody will queue waiting just for that time based on the law. But here, to 12, before we vote, that is not acceptable. Uh, Your Excellency, you always stand uh, on the path of peace, non-violent elections, and that's you known around when you go around Africa and the world to preach this message during elections. What is your advice to whoever loses and whoever wins? We've all said so. You remember some three days ago during the uh, National Peace uh, uh, Accord uh, where the candidates and the parties signed uh, uh, the commitment for peaceful elections. I would have been there physically, but I was in Bamako and I was a bit trapped. But my speech was read by Bishop Kuka and all of us advised in the same way that, look, elections must be peaceful that politicians should know that they don't own this country. And nobody's political ambition is so what the blood of any Nigerian. Not at all. People should not begin to think, oh, I have money, I'm contesting as governor, I'm contesting as senator, I'm contesting as president, so people will die because they want to be president or you want to be governor. No. Totally unacceptable. And we must imbibe that. There will be a president. Look, after us, I was a deputy governor from deputy to president. That is eight years in Aguaye, another eight years in Abuja. But I'm back as a, an ordinary citizen. So you will, uh, you will leave that office. So you uh, struggle to get there. Your contestation for the position you want should not diminish us as a human race. It should rather improve us as a human race if you mean well.